Hey guys, so this is another first impressions video. This time is for agony, so <laughs> yeah, I I really needed a little bit more time to test this guy out. I even confirmed with the devs a few things, cause the the consequences of his abilities are gonna be yeah very relevant, and especially when people were telling me he's good with Alden, he's good with this, he's doing this. So yeah, I need to confirm all this, and today I finally have some answers for you. So, let's talk about his uh, abilities real quick. Scorching Disaster, Average Speed, which is very good in his situation. Deals 300% normal attack damage to all enemies and guides them into the Homa Realm for 5 turns. So, we have another Realm hero, very cool. Shares damage with all allies uh, <laughs> for 5 turns. So, this is the very first uh, damage damage share hero that we have for red that affects every single hero on the team so yeah that screams screams colette uh, before you start asking me send me messages to make a summons video let's talk about yeah well, let's talk about this a little later Homa Realm. When targets within the Homa Realm cast a skill, Agony deals 225% extra damage to all the target allies. So pretty much, an enemy goes off, they get hit with this for 225% extra damage to the entire freaking team. So that's pretty cool. And every target has a 50% chance to be inflicted with Flames of Homa for four turns. So this is the key here that that's the big problem with hit with him that they go off They get a 50% chance to get the debuff and then in those four four terms if they get hit again and They get the debuff again. They get stunned two times So this effect of stunning two times is super powerful. No doubt about that However, if you're getting this hero expecting that you're gonna stun everybody for t two turns every single time That is not gonna happen except in s different situations, and I'm gonna explain that a little bit later So awakenings the plus one when the battle begins agony lures enemies into the homo realm for five turns If the enemy is already in in the realm nullifies all enemy realms so remember that this realm affects the enemy so don't get this hero thinking that he's going to counter Belnos. Belnos is Belnos's realm affects you. You're you're, you're the their enemy. So this one affects the your enemy, which is the opposite side. So it's not going to cancel out. Both of them are going to be active in that situation. So if you're wanting to actually counter Belnos with the realm, you have to get a hero that actually uh, a hero that creates realms for your team to cancel it out. The other part is Enhanced Homa Realm. Agony steals 10% attack and defense from enemies within the Homa Realm. So this is not bad. It's not like game breaking, but it's definitely nice to have. The plus two is 5% less time is taken, which is really nice. Though in the nudge that they want you to use him in defense. The plus three, Enhanced Homa Realm. Homa Realm reduces enemies' critical damage resistance by 30%. So this in red is super relevant. Remember that ever since uh, the, um, the resonance system has come in, they bring on this critical damage resistance thing. So now we have a hero that actually lowers uh, damage, uh, pretty much critical damage resistance. So that's really relevant when you're playing red because red is all about crits crit damage and all that so if you're playing red yeah this is a really nice upgrade for that team for sure so the plus four is the same as the plus two and the plus five Ugh. yeah oh, we got to talk about this guys that when when battle begins shares damage with all allies for five turns classic classic damage here beginning of the turn for so many heroes that use damage here but yeah very powerful stuff so this is really relevant guys but this is the part that we have to talk about when agony is in battle when he or an ally takes a fatal blow deals extra normal attack damage to all enemies damage depends on skill level and stuns for two turns each ally may only trigger this once this is powerful, but what this does not, does not tell you, is that, yeah, Agony is on the field, they revive. Your heroes revive with one life. Classic revival, yeah. The heroes that do this is Athena, 
Luna, and now Agony. So this is, for defense, this is going to be super relevant. People that, yeah. This is, yeah. A anybody who wants to ha have a powerful defense team are going to want him to, uh, to be at plus five in this situation. So let's bring him to a spin. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. The best way to actually show you this plus five is through here. Let's just do it like this. No dragons, no anything. Let's just do it. So, straight off the bat, you get the Homa Realm. And the thing is about the Roma, Homa Realm, look at this. This is so cool. It's uh, it's pretty much entering like a hellish landscape and fireballs flowing in all, all over the place. The, you, you may think that this is the stage. No, this is the Homa Realm for him. This is so cool. I love it. So, anyhow, let me show you here. So, these guys go off. Boom. There go the stones. Let me do it a little slower here. Oh, wait. So let's do it again. Okay. They're not going to go off, so we might as well just kill them. Boom! So that's the Homo Realm. Da -da -da. So we have to make him go off. That That's one weakness that he has. Boom, boom, boom. So we're going to do this part a little slower, so maybe we, I can show you better. Let me see here. All right. Check this out. He goes up. Boom. That's the first one. See these little shot things? This is the d debuff for, for the Homo Realm. And, wow, well, yeah. <laughs> so, if they go off again they're and they get this little thing, this is going to get stunned. So, there's a possibility that they're not going to get stung at all. Okay, so now Homo Realm is off. So, that's one of the big weaknesses that, that he has. If you don't have the Homo Realm, yeah. He he doesn't stun or do anything in that situation. So, boom. Let me see something. There we go. E even though he does, doesn't have the Homa Realm up, he will still use that little stone here and revive your heroes here. So, super relevant, guys. But he's super dependent. Super dependent on his Homa Realm to do so many things, guys. And uh, the thing is that apparently when she died, she, she didn't stun anybody. So that's interesting. I will have to ask the devs that as well. Because it did not stun. So yeah, we, we, I definitely need to, to talk to them about that as well. So hopefully uh, we survive. So we're not looking very hot here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot of interactions right there. See, none of them got stunned. The, the, that's the weakness that I'm seeing with him. That 50% thing that he's doing. Boom, boom. Yeah, but with every single time he's counterattacking. For sure. So, yeah. I think we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna die here, guys. Yeah, for sure. So that's terrible. But at the same time, that's the main thing that I wanted to show you about. Uh, he revives heroes in that situation. So let's just go on and attack the usual way. So I can show you the possibilities with an actual team and not like getting hit every single time without doing anything. So. Homer Rowan is up. Boom, boom, boom. There's one. There's two. No debuff. So that the, that's the that's the risk that you have with this hero, but the possibilities of doing damage comboing with other heroes is is super relevant, guys. I'm gonna show you that in a second. So activating everybody. No fear. Let's go straight out red. Dun 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 dun. Still a little bit more. Here we go. All right. Let's do a little faster here. Boom. They didn't get the debuff. They didn't get the... Not there they got the debuff. So they need to get the debuff again to get those two stuns. That's a really powerful... Uh, ability, by the way. Boom. 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 Hmm. 
I found it really strange that the debuff disappears, but they're not getting stunned. Okay, that that's definitely something I have to talk about. That is something really strange. It, he, he, they should have gotten stunned there. So so this is definitely bug guys. So yeah, more testing. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, th 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 this is not a, a good showing for him in this situation for sure because the, the the debuff got got uh, removed. And they didn't get stunned. So, yeah. That is not a good showing, guys. So, I'm going to show you a video now uh, from Gimme that uh, he actually uh, did test them out in, in actual war. And the amount of havoc that he creates uh, with um, uh, with with Harith, <laughs> it's, it's amazing to watch. Check it out. Oh, yeah, that is amazing to watch, guys. Uh, Harrow, the, the, he got buffed, and yeah, that is amazing to watch. But comboing with Agony is amazing. <laughs> the entire team at, at one point actually got stunned cr completely. So, yeah, very powerful stuff. So, if you want to see the whole fight, I'm going to put uh, the link to uh, Gimme's video on the description box below this video here. Uh, so, you can check it out. Very, very powerful stuff, guys. So another thing we have to talk about Agony is he works so disgustingly well with counter heroes. Oh, so disgustingly well. It's it's not even funny. Um, I I've heard. Um, yeah, I I wasn't able to get the footage. I hope to get the footage really soon. But this happened during the last war, and yeah, that was pretty disgusting. Artemis. Yeah, <laughs> overpowered agony, like 50% additional damage and stunning, and yeah, that that is yeah, that is scary stuff, guys. And reviving, and yeah, it's it, yeah, it's it's unspeakably powerful, guys. Very very powerful stuff, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, if is this guy a must-have or not a must-have? Uh, the problem with this guy is that he depends so much on, on his, on his realm that I can't really say that he's a must-have for sure. 
Uh, if, if he doesn't have his realm, you're you're going to have problems with him for sure. So he, you definitely need to get him to plus one in this situation. If you want to play him on a counter team, uh, yeah, he's very powerful stuff. Um, if um, if you want to play at him on a mono red team on defense, you need to have him a plus one, and he's an incredibly powerful addition. But when he gets to plus five, it's yeah, this plus five is this disgusting. Disgusting. If you get him to plus five, congratulations. That is amazing in this situation. But if you're asking me if he's a must have or not, I don't have I don't think he's a must have. You can play the game without him without any problems. However, yeah, with counter heroes, he's gonna be very powerful. So am I gonna plus five him? He's definitely gonna be good with Colette, but having two red heroes on defense is not gonna be very good for me. Because that's going to attract a lot of blue blue enemies. But yeah, I may change my mind. Because uh, I still need to do a little bit more testing. See him more in action. So, And reviving. Reviving is such a powerful mechanic. Uh, yeah. If I decide to plus 5 him, I'll let you know, guys. But no promises. No promises. Too many, too many heroes to plus 5 in a row. <laughs> please, please. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.